our front yard, it's our backyard, it's our home, and we are not safe, and they are not safe. New at 6, people who live at a senior center say they're being left alone to deal with the problems spilling over from an illegal homeless encampment that's set up next door. An encampment with around 15 RVs is formed in the woods off Meyer Way in the Highland Park neighborhood. Frustrated residents contacted Como's Project Seattle to get help with the situation. Tonight, Como's Jeremy Harris is live there now. Jeremy, what answers have you been able to find? Well, Preston, the only answer is that this encampment isn't going anywhere anytime soon, and that is unacceptable for seniors who say they're the ones who are being put in danger. Arrowhead Gardens promises a comfortable place for retirees. It's unsafe, it's unsanitary, and it's wrong. I was impressed but resident here. Diane Radishat says their peaceful home has become a nightmare. There's gunshots we hear almost every single night. Diane says they've had camps here in the past, but nothing even close to this. The other times, encampments, this one I call an occupation. And she says people from the camp are breaking into their buildings. We had someone, you know, that defecated in one of our washing machines in one of our laundry rooms, which is just unconscionable. When WashDOT cleared out a large encampment up the road under the First Avenue Bridge in March, people at Arrowhead Gardens say the RVs started showing up here. You go by one day and there's maybe 10 RVs in there. Next day you go by and there's probably 15. And the encampment is in a forest on Washdot property. They had a bobcat over there clearing property. They were felling trees. This is state property. How, you know, I think they have a lot of nerve to be felling trees. And why are they doing that in the first place? If you feel like you've heard this before, it's because you have. People around other encampments on Washdot property, like the Ship Canal and Mercer Street, have had the same fights over illegal encampments. The impact on the community is, uh, is one of fear. Diane says they want to hear from the state directly why they're not getting help. Set up a meeting with this group of people and explain why you have not done your job. There's a tiny home village just down the street. The residents were adamant. They wanted to emphasize they've had no problems with people from the tiny home village. But this encampment that you're looking at here, very different story. As for Washot, now they told me in a statement what they've told us before. They depend on the King County Regional Homelessness Authority to do outreach, make offers of housing, provide for storage for the people's possessions before any sort of a cleanup will happen here. Reporting live in Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News. Hi everyone, I'm Preston Phillips from Como News. Thanks for checking out the Como YouTube channel. You can see more of our videos right here by clicking on the video links for more news from the Seattle area and Western Washington. Oh, and don't forget to click the subscribe button below so you don't miss our YouTube updates.